So the key uh, to getting this on correctly is to make sure that the groove that is in the trailer hitch lands directly on the ball bearing here. And so what I find best is to keep these two bolts loose at the back and then land it on here and kind of get that to fit just on there. And if you can look at the back where my hand is here, you know, you know you're on there right when you have a little bit of play. Get that nice and level. And then from the back, you'll tighten up these two hex nuts. And then the front, the way this will stay on the ball bearing, because right now you can see it's still free and loose, is it has this sort of wedge-shaped pin that you're going to want to go ahead and turn until it gets all the way tightened. And this is what will keep it on from falling off the rear axle. And you can see, I don't know if you can see in there or not, the way this pin works is it sort of grabs onto the ball bearing with there. I'll back it off just a little bit so you can see again. You can see it moving back right in there. And now I'm tightening it again. And what that's going to do is prevent the surly hitch arm from coming off the ball bearing. You can see I can't take it off now. And uh, another thing to just be cautious of is to make sure that the trailer hitch arm is above your derailleur and any moving parts for your uh, shifting. Oh, also, these are meant to be thumb screws, and, and generally speaking, you can use your fingers to tighten them and, and loosen them. However, if you're like me and you ride in all conditions with salt and dirt and grime, uh, sometimes these can get loaded up with a little bit of dirt and grit, which is why we're including a pair of simple pliers. So that way, if you have to take it off your bike and you can't get your hands on, or you can't quite get it started with your fingers, we're including a pair of pliers that will can uh, travel around with the, with the trailer to make sure that someone will have enough force to get those off easily.